Well, as we've been reporting for months now, car theft is on the rise all over the state. Nearly 100 vehicles are stolen every day in the metro area. And when you look at this year compared to last, car thefts are up 24% in just the first quarter. CBS 4 Shauna Kalafi spoke to a woman in Denver whose vehicle has been targeted three times over the last year and a half. Most recently, her late son's truck was stolen from right in front of her apartment. Shauna joining us now live in Denver tonight. And Shauna, car theft isn't the only auto-related crime on the rise. That's right, catalytic converter thefts that we've been hearing, those are also on the rise. The Colorado Independent Auto Dealers Association says that catalytic converter thefts across the state have risen 5,100% in recent years. And then also because of supply chain issues, the cost of replacing those has quadrupled. So that makes this a much more costly crime for these car owners. They took my son's truck, my memories of my son. First, a broken window, then a stolen catalytic converter, and finally, the disappearance of a very special truck overnight Friday. May Rose says car crimes are becoming too common in her southeast Denver neighborhood. She had her stolen catalytic converter replaced in 2021 for a steep price. Oh, yeah, it's a couple thousand dollars for me. Only to have her late son's truck, a 1967 GMC, stolen from that same parking spot a year later. I just wish that I can just get my son's truck back in one piece. It's just old truck, but it's, it's mine that he gave to me. And she's not the only one this has happened to in that neighborhood. Data from the city shows that auto theft in the Virginia Village area increased by 64 percent from 2019 to 2020. And May says it's only been getting worse. This ain't the first stolen car with around here. That's one reason why everybody stopped putting clubs on them, but we, I'm finding out that's not working. So May is a widow and she's on a fixed income. So these crimes have been especially hard on her. At the same time, she's also working on buying a tombstone for her late son's grave. So a lot of uh, financial issues on her plate. There has been an online fundraiser set up to help her with this process. Live from Denver Police Headquarters, Shauna Kalafi covering Colorado First. Shauna, thank you.